Hey, how we going everybody? Hope you're all good. It's been a while. It's a weekly walkabout at the Collector. Got our first little sale back in the room tomorrow night. We've got a lot of stuff. Should be a bit of fun. We're looking forward to seeing everybody and bloody selling all of this stuff. Some cool gear. Here's a quick little squeeze at some of it. Sterling silver belt buckle. Nice little Satsuma butterfly shaped belt buckle. Some silver. Nice fob chain and some earrings. Silver and other napkin rings. Uh, watch keys in the bag over the back. Some nice hat pins, kind of like the golf club one. Costume, coins, lots of nice coral necklaces and ladies sort of costume and military badges and buttons, some footy badges, chocolate moulds, got some nice furniture, I really like this little arts and crafts table, pine sideboard, cute little sort of clerk a desk, little clerk's desk or something here with a funny little sort of drop down front, all the pigeonholes inside and drawers. Little ebony X chairs, cute. Funny size little sort of washstand. These great little national capsule vacuum cleaner. A nice big mid-century three-piece lounge suites in fantastic condition. Some cool radios, speaker boxes, ladies' watches, some cool ephemera, sort of World War II related. The mother ephemera, South Melbourne allotments. Big boxes of china. Golf clubs, Hawaiian shirts, some army clothes, leather jackets and stuff. Big lot of sort of blokey gear. DVDs, records, heaps of lamps, filing drawers. And there's good old Paddington. Occasional furniture, nice little sort of oriental elm cupboard. Nice little nest of four tables. Some cool more occasional furniture. Victorian furniture. Nice little 1970s radiogram. Works. Cool little um, bright orange pine. 70s trunk. Like the big arts and crafts cupboard. Plants. Desks. Mid-century lamps. More tools and stuff. Stereo gear, china, pictures. What else have we got? Big lot of records and 78s. Big lot of toys, tonkers. Some army buttons in there and that bloke. Blokey gear underneath. Croquet set and some outdoor chairs. Bottles of grog. Books. A phantom. Little bits of occasional furniture. Kind of like this little oak monk's bench here. The back's all carved and everything. The back actually comes over the top and lays flat so it turns into a table. Little kids Dexter rocking chairs, pretty cool. A pair of lamps, a pair of candles with the big 70 storm shades. Nice big Vic Cedar sideboard. A couple of nice classical prints. Our typewriter. Alright, I better get going. Sorry, Couple of cool big sort of garden sculptures by Jenny Cowie. I really like the bird. It's just a shame that missing part of its wing. It's also signed down the bottom there. Really cool thing. Pretty China, glass. Dalton and Winton, more good English. Brassware. That light flickering in the cabinet's giving me the shit so we're not looking in there. Cutlery. <laughs> the nice little pictures this week. Little DY Cameron. A pair of wood blocks. This Aboriginal paintings, a nice little watercolour. Some more Aboriginal artifacts, a couple of minis, a few Mercs, a couple of little races, little Audi and a Mazda, some gullies, cool tins, cool records. I oh, know I shouldn't have used the term cool, should I? Um, ACTC, fishing gear, a couple of nice mirrors with the ballerinas and crinoline ladies. Another cool big DeSoto. Nice little um, piano sconces. A couple of alphas. Some more records. There's Beatles in amongst there and all sorts of stuff. Booker T and the MGs. 
Do re me. Bottles. It's all Datsun sort of salesman stuff. There's um, all Datsun advertising bags and clocks and watches and gear. Medallions, Volksies, pin-up girl stuff, a full bottle of Bell's whiskey. Nice lot of bottles of wine. Some more whiskey and stuff down the bottom. Long Beach Siggies, big advertising posters, trumpet, blokey gear, pair of Japanese export vases, one of them's a bit damaged, big enameled cooking pot, doll, glass, 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 glass. There's a chip in the orange in the bloody juicer, unfortunately, on the end here. English China, some nice little heifer lumps. Nintendo Wii, PlayStation 2, a heap of cranes, and some other construction, smoking gear, gamey sort of stuff. Wade, Australian pottery, little Martin Boyd egg cups are called in their original packaging. Blinky Bill, little mix lot of gear, cameras, mid-century stuff, a couple of Lanciers, kids toys, Oz pottery, a couple of Peugeots. It's a cool bit, the flashed light magnifier in its original box. Doesn't look like it's ever been flashed. <laughs> Little tramways pouch with some bits and bobs inside. There's a hole punch and some buttons. Queen Anne whiskey, a couple of nice pots. A couple of cool little Japanese toys. There you go, little money banks. Pubinalia. What else have we got? Nice lot of blokey gear over the back with the box brownies and tobacco tins and stuff. Some cool comic books and kids books. Enid Blyton. It's a pretty early phantom comic in that Women's Mirror magazine. Uh, more blokey gear. The Corgi Eddie Stobart die cast set. Oz Pottery, bit of Harry White. Nice lot of Bakelite. English China. Some cut glass and crystal. Nice tobacco or cigar tin. A little Aktung Spitfire there, made out of brass. We've put him with the pheasant decanter. And you've got two nice bits of trench art here. And another nice trench art sort of sweetheart box, which I think's made out of an old aeroplane propeller. A uh, nice little collection of Oz pottery. Here's a nice little bit of Derek Smith. Dalton. Carlton Ware, Royal Albert over the back. Nice little pair of the sort of gilt candlesticks. There's a nice bit of WMF, I think it is, with the original glass inset. German China. We've got down the bottom some phantom stuff. Some of this stuff signed by Glenn Ford. There you go, that one is there, and I think this poster is as well. Uh, the copper aspic moulds. Nice lot of TG green. Big heavy outdoor lights, cool. Nice pair of the Edwardian plasterware figures. More glass, more glass. These are quite nice, really quite heavy. This is my favourite lot, the crucifixes. This little plastic one, although you can't see here, but that glows in the dark. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, box cutlery sets, big walker and hall serving dome. Some great little enamelled signs out of an old tram car. Brownie Downing, he's cool little Russian-made Pinocchio celluloid toy. Little sort of Sepik tribal figure. English China. The German deco sort of little flower right there is a lovely bit. Signed Pro Heart book. Little sort of undersea life lamp is pretty cool with the fake fish and stuff in it. <coughs> Italian enameled ware. Uranium glass. Bendigo vase. Another nice bit of glass here, although there is a chip in it somewhere. Just here, unfortunately. Uh, we've got some nice stuff at the top shelf. I think it's Peter Lacey. Patrick Lacey. There we go. Pretty cool bit of Oz pottery with that nice sort of abstract expressionist sort of design on the front. Uh, Staffordshire figure of good old Homer. Not Homer J. Uh, Honiton, I think this is. Reminds me of Paul Trudy Adams or something. Really quite nice. These are cute as well. Little salt and pepper shakers or with the Bakelite sort of tops on them. Uh, John Strumer, big Australian pottery sort of platter with a really nice crystalline glaze. Nick Orton, cool Australian pottery vase with a surfer dropping in. And this is a nice bit, David Oswald, really nice Oz pottery vase with that lovely little uh, bamboo handle across the top. 
really like the fact that it's got decoration inside it as well. I reckon probably seven people in this pot's life has actually seen that decoration inside. It's worth looking inside of stuff. Anyway, guys, you know me, I could talk shit for another half an hour, but that'll do. Hopefully you're all well. Hopefully we see you here tomorrow night. Thursday night live auction. We're allowed to have about 30, 35 people in the room. Uh, so, yeah, should all be sweet. Hopefully you're all well and we see you guys tomorrow night. Be good.